Earlier this year, we did a story about the proposed Fireman's Museum in Newberry. Let's catch up on that project. Hi, Ken. Thanks, Abby. So back in 1927, the members of the Newbury, New Hampshire community decided to get together because they needed a fire department. And that first meeting, at that first meeting, 32 members of the community created the Newbury Fire Department. We actually have the original typewritten meeting minutes, which will be on display in our new Newbury Fire Museum. Back in 1927, the members bought their first fire engine. In 1942, the chassis of that fire engine gave way, rusted out, so they bought their first real fire engine, a 1942 Chevrolet chassis. But being typical frugal New Englanders, they realized that the fire pump and the hose bed could be reused. So this is our original 1942-1927 fire engine which served as a primary attack vehicle until approximately 1964. In the 1980s and 90s, two firefighters spent countless volunteer hours and years, candidly, totally reconditioning the fire engine. So about a year and a half ago, the Benevolent Association decided that it was a shame that this fire engine was under a tarp in various barns or old town sheds and seldom, if ever, got to be seen by the general public. So we decided to ask the select board of Newbury if we could place on this piece of land behind us a new Newbury Fire Department Museum, which the Benevolent Association would construct with volunteer hours and donations, no taxpayer money involved. And at the completion of construction of the museum, we would then turn the building over to the town for a dollar. The primary exhibit piece in this new museum will, of course, be our reconditioned 1942-1927 fire engine. As you can see behind me, we've made a lot of progress on the new museum. We figured even with all of the volunteer labor, it would take about $150,000 to construct the museum, of which we've already raised $107,000. We purposely built the museum immediately adjacent to the Veeley playground, because the playground is visited by many youngsters and their parents and or grandparents all day, all the time. So we temporarily relocated the fence for the playground to here so that we could keep the construction site safe. But when the building is done, this fence will go away and we'll have the fence line go from that corner post right here to the entrance of the museum and there'll be a gate here to an outdoor covered porch area of the museum where we will have on display the story and history of the Newbury Fire Department, as I just described it, as well as a recruiting poster, because we are constantly and always looking for new members, both EMS and firefighters, and we will train. This museum will not be occupied most of the time, but on a schedule, we will be open periodically, Saturdays and Sundays over the course of summers and falls. 365 days a year, 724, this outside area will be available. And with all of the glass that's going to be in the museum, and in fact, we just in the last few weeks installed the glass, including this massive folding glass door that will allow the truck to go in and out to be able to join parades in the community. But during most of the year, it will be our primary exhibit here in the museum. Like I said, we'll periodically be open to the public. We'll also have a phone number that you can call to get private tours of the museum to schedule those. And as well, we've already been talking to the public library about having or holding some of the uh, children's story time here in the museum. Because what little kid doesn't enjoy sitting around or in a fire truck, particularly an antique one? Lastly, to that end, we'll have a couple of benches along the side walls of the museum for those kids and others to sit on while we tell a story or discuss the history of the fire department and the museum. Of course, the fire engine won't be the only thing on exhibit. 
We will have a number of antique fire nozzles. We'll have one of the original red phones that was used to communicate where a fire was in town so that other firefighters could be called. And we'll have other exhibits. We'll have a list of the major contributors to the museum. Uh, because like I said, we're still in the process of trying to uh, get enough contributions to finish. And with luck, uh, we hope to be able to house the engine by the end of this year, 2024, in the new fire department museum. So if people would like more information, uh, I can tell you that we are accepting checks at the Newbury Fire Department Association. P.O. Box 373, Newbury, New Hampshire, 03255. You can reach out to me, Ken Holmes, at kfholmesnh at gmail.com. We look forward to opening up to the public, hopefully by the end of the year. Thanks, Ken. They are so close to their goal. If you can help, please do. When we return, we'll get to meet Diana Smith, another one of the great craftspeople showing and selling their work at this year's fair. Stay with us here on your Yankee Chronicle. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. <laughs>